Revolutionizing Prosthetics is an ambitious, multi-year program funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, to create a nearly controlled artificial limb that will restore near natural motor and sensory capability upper extremity amputee patients. The research team has completed several assessments of the neural signals acquired from the motor and sensory areas of the brain, and they've studied what the patient feels when the hand areas of the brain are stimulated. The results from these experiments highlight the potential for patients to sense more information about the prosthetic limb or the environment with which they are interacting. At MIT's Media Lab, researchers are developing prosthetic limbs that users can control with their minds, making a robotic foot move as seamlessly as a biological one. The legs have two microprocessors and 12 sensors that allow people to walk and even run naturally. At the stage of development, the microprocessors and sensors allow for a natural movement, but the users do not actually feel. That could all change based on research currently underway at the MIT Media Lab on implants that will connect to nerve tissues. But even the current version is so tightly matched to the user's anatomy that new users can walk with their new legs in a matter of minutes. The artificial intelligence in the software interprets the sensor data to keep the user automatically balanced and moving. Second Sight's Orion system bypasses the eyes to bring artificial vision directly to the brain. Working prototypes are being tested right now in six blind individuals. Orion is designed to connect the camera in a pair of eyeglasses with an implant that receives the camera signal and translates it to the visual cortex in the brain, bypassing the eye and optic nerve entirely. The company's Argus 2 device which uses a retinal implant to receive the camera's signal, is already on the US market. The Orion system consists of small cameras mounted on a pair of glasses to capture the images. A video processing unit to convert what the camera sees into electrical pulses the wearer can interpret, and an implant that stimulates the user's brain to create a perceived image. Cochlear implants are designed to help in hearing loss that has declined so dramatically to the point where they can no longer rely on hearing aids and lip reading. Unlike hearing aids, which only amplify sound, the cochlear implants interacts directly with the brain. Sound picked up by an external microphone is processed and transmitted to an implant under the skin. From there, it is sent as an electrical stimuli through the cochlear to the hearing nerve and then to the brain where it is interpreted as sound. Cochlear implants do not cure hearing loss or restore hearing, but they do provide an opportunity for the severely hard of hearing or deaf to perceive the sensation of sound by bypassing the damaged inner ear. Engineers at MIT and elsewhere have developed a bionic heart that offers a more realistic model for testing out artificial valves and other cardiac devices. The device is a real biological heart 
whose tough muscle tissue has been replaced with a soft robotic matrix of artificial heart muscles, resembling bubble wrap. The orientation of the artificial muscles mimics the pattern of the heart's natural muscle fibers, in such a way that when the researchers remotely inflate the bubbles, they act together to squeeze and twist the inner heart, similar to the way a real, whole heart beats and pumps blood. With this new design, which they call biorobotic hybrid heart, the researchers envision that the device designers and engineers could iterate and fine-tune designs more quickly by testing on the biohybrid heart, significantly reducing the cost of cardiac device development. The eyelet pancreas is a revolutionary and fully integrated wearable medical device that is designed to reduce the burden and improve the quality of diabetes care by automatically managing blood sugar levels 24-7 in people living with type 1 diabetes. Researchers have been working to make things easier for patients by integrating and automating the steps in the process. The end result, the artificial pancreas, is a system that can figure out how much insulin the body needs in near real time and then deliver that amount on its own. The eyelet administers both insulin and glucagen, the hormone that raises blood sugar. With data from a continuous glucose monitor, its algorithm decides which hormone to release and how much. Two amputees are the first people in the world able to control their bionic prosthetic legs with their thoughts. Thanks to a tiny implanted myoelectric sensors that have been surgically placed in their residual muscle tissue. The sensor instantaneously triggers the desired movement by a receiver located inside the prosthesis. This process occurs subconsciously, continuously and in real time. Osir's commercially available bionic prostheses are smart limbs capable of real-time learning and automatically adjust to their user's walking style, speed, and terrain. Walking with a bionic prosthesis, however, still typically requires some conscious, intentional thought from the user. They no longer need to think about their movements because their unconscious reflexes are automatically converted into myoelectric impulses that control their bionic prosthesis. Doctors implanted a chip in Mr. Burkhardt's brain two years ago, seated in a lab with the implant connected through a computer to a sleeve on his arm. He was able to learn by repetition and arduous practice to focus his thoughts to make his hand pour from a little bottle and to pick up from a straw and stir. He was even able to play a guitar video game. Using technology that transmits his thoughts directly to his hand muscles and bypasses his spinal injury, the doctor study is the first account of limb reanimation in a person with quadriplegia. Using brain implants, scientists can decode brain signals and match them to specific movements. This new study demonstrates that the bypass approach can restore critical skills to limbs no longer directly connected to the brain. Comfortable, intuitive, and precise, the Bionic continues to transform the lives and abilities of amputees around the world. From helping them perform simple tasks like tying their shoelaces, to giving them back their control and pride. With 14 different grip patterns and hand positions, the B Bionic artificial hand is designed to handle almost anything that you need to do in an average day. From eating meals and carrying bags, to opening doors, switching on lights, and typing. Individual motors in each finger allow you to move your hand and grip in a natural, coordinated way. Proportional speed control gives you precision control over delicate tasks. The hand is available in three different sizes and multiple wrist options to suit individual requirements. The future can't come soon enough. Which one of these are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. We can't wait to bring you more from the future. Until next time, 